Hi guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to be discussing the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette and the Colourpop Yes Please Palette and we're going to be talking about the similarity of these guys and um, you know what's worth what's worth it really when, when it comes to your dollar. So this is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette right here and we're going to start off by talking about this one right here. So straight away I can tell you that the colour scheme of this palette is just absolutely to die for. It is beautiful and it is everything that it is the name. You know, it, every time I look at it, it definitely reminds me of, you know, those beautiful colours that you see in, in, a, in a sunset. And everything about this I love because it is a warm toned palette and I love warm toned palettes. I just find that with my eye color, they complement my eye color really, really nicely. And um, I find them really easy to use and, and I get a lot of enjoyment in, um, in using them. So what I want to talk about first and definitely is the elephant in the room and that is how expensive Natasha Denona is. Now I just want to show you guys, you can see here her name and the actual name of the palette is embroidered into this. And also you can see that all around here, you know, you've got double stitching around um, the packaging and it's got like, it's this sort of um, leathery sort of uh, feel, faux leather finish. Um, and it just feels extremely, extremely luxurious. Um, now the cost of this guy is $129 uh, US and uh, $185 Australian and that's if you purchase it at the Australian Sephora and uh, of course that's if you purchase it at the US Sephora slash the Natasha Denona um, website. So here you do get a lovely size mirror, there's the camera, check it out. Um, you know you've got your magnetic little um, clasps up here. You've got this shadow protector shield and what I really like about this is the fact that you know you can take this out. I don't know why you'd want to. I like having it there um, but it's also got the names of all the the um, sh shadows so I really quite like how, how the design of this and how it's been uh, thought out. Um, and again, you know, it, it feels heavy and you want it to feel heavy because you're spending a lot of money on it. You want it to be really, really luxurious. The other thing to note about this one here is that all the shadows are actually made in Italy. So yes, I think that's quite interesting. Um, this has got a 24 month um, ex expiration or shelf life. Look, I don't really... I don't know if this is bad, comment down below, let me know um, to say, but look, I personally don't read too much into that. I have some eyeshadows that I have literally had, you know, for about five years that still work amazingly today. I don't get, my eyes don't get irritated. You know, having said that, I do take very good care of my makeup and I, I do make sure, you know, that it's um, pro always properly sealed and sanitized and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't read too much into that to be perfectly, to be perfectly honest with you. So moving right along to the Colourpop. So again, having a look at this, the colour scheme is stunning. And you know, again, I look at this and it reminds me of sunsets and everything about this I absolutely love. It's a beautiful, beautiful warm tone palette. Um, that just looks great. Straight away, I really like that the magnetic is it going to do it? Hang on. There we go. I like the magnetic clasp on this. Um, you know, it doesn't feel too light. It does have a, a decent amount of weight to it. Um, of course, the, you know, straight away, you're not going to see any mirror here. Um, this retails for $16 American. And that with the conversion rate today, that works out to be about $20 Australian. Now, it is fair to note that obviously, aside from the significant cost uh, difference. Um, you know, having a look at these straight away, the first thing that will, will stick out to you is the, the size of the pans. So straight away, I can tell you in the Natasha Denona, you are getting 2.5 grams worth of product per pen. And in the Colourpop, you are getting, uh, 0.85 or well, 0.85 grams. So you're not even getting a complete, uh, you know, gram per, per product or per shadow, um, 
in, in the ColourPop. So to break that down uh, per cost of shadow, so for the Natasha Denona, you are looking at um, $8.60 uh, US. Uh, Australian, it works out to be $12, th about $12.30 per shadow. For the ColourPop, uh, American, it works out to be about $1.30 uh, per, oh dear, uh, per, oh great, $1.30 per shadow and Australian, it works out to be about $1.65 um, with the current conversion rate per, per shadow. So the difference, however, is the fact that you are in the ColourPop getting 1.65 grams less of, of product and you're also technically getting three less shadows. So, you know, you guys, you know your own budgets, you do the math, you work out what's, you know, most cost effective for you. Um, but, you know, whether you're spending $16 or whether you're spending $129, it all comes down to the product and the, the performance of the product. Uh, at the end of the day, that is the most important thing. If the product doesn't work, then it's a waste of money either way. So what I've actually done is I've gone ahead and uh, swatched these uh, palettes out on, on both of my arms. On the right side, you will see the Natasha Denona. On the left side, you will see uh, Colourpop. And um, what, because obviously, as I stated before, uh, there's 15 shadows in the Natasha Denona and only 12 in the Colourpop. What I decided to do was swatch every single Colourpop shadow and match it best I could with um, the Natasha Denona palette. So I'm just going to show you guys um, my swatches, my very professional swatches that I've done. So starting up here, I can straight away tell you guys that yes, you know, you've got a matte color right here for your color pop. And this is far more of like a shimmery uh, finish for your Natasha Denona. Those two were the best comparisons that I could come up with. Moving right along, um, again, you can see a slight difference, obviously in the shade, in the shades of the oranges here. Um, you know, you've got far more of a deep uh, color. This is the color pop side, so you've got far more of a, a deeper orange um, and a lot, and it's far a lighter color for the unit to Hasha Denona. Moving along, you've got your matte pinks. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see them. These were probably some of the closest shades um, I could come up with. Um, in the, between the two palettes, you know, I thought both of these looked beautiful and um, I actually am wearing both of these shades on my eyes today. So I thought these looked really, really nice together. Very, very um, close in color and um, yeah. Moving right along now, these two that you can see that there is significant difference. This one here is, um, you know, your color pop far more warm as opposed to your Natasha Denona side, which is the, you know, this shadow is far more cool. Um, cooler. Again, moving right along, these two are very, very, very similar in uh, both palettes. Now, again, I have both of these on my eyes today. I think they work really well, they blend really well, and they are very comparable. Again, if moving down, we've got, I'm just trying to stay in frame here, <laughs> um, we've got the golds in the palette. Now, these, I don't know if you can see, I'm just going to bring you closer. These are very, very chunky on both sides. These are very, very chunky. So they're like loose glitters, almost loose pressed glitters. Um, so you do have to be a little bit careful with these. I definitely, either way you go, I would definitely recommend uh, using a um, glitter glue um, and then maybe using some Mac Fix Plus just to set it really in place for, for where you want it to go. Now, the reds in these um, palettes, are, as you can see, I'm just going to zoom you back out because this isn't working. <laughs> um, so the reds in, in this palette um, are quite, quite, in these palettes are quite different. So you, you've got a far more warm toned red here and f like more of a magenta sort of finish on your Natasha Denona side. Jumping to my other arm, nice and professionally. So again, these two are probably the very, very close in the palette um, that I found. And I really do like the look of these. Now, as you can see, um, this one here is a little bit more on the warmer side, I feel, than, than this one here. Um, but again, they are very comparable. 
Moving right along to the yellows, very, very similar. Uh, you've got a little bit darker sort of mustardy color on this side and I feel like this yellow is a little bit lighter. Now these two shadows here are definitely not the same, you know, um, one's far deeper and you know more uh, richer in color than the other, um, but that, that's the closest I could find in the palette um, to show you guys. And these two here, as you know, these colors are such a unique shade, I, you know, I think in, in, in both palettes. They're beautiful, they're very, very similar to each other, and um, you know, they're just like this hybrid yellow orange shimmer and they are just beautiful and then finally you've got your two really dark um, matte browns so again you know I find that this one here is probably a little bit cooler this one here is a little bit more uh, on the warm tone side very comparable though and I do feel like you would be able to um, you know make a a very similar sort of um, look uh, with with them so what I am going to do now, <laughs> once I've like jumped into place, is scooch you guys in a little bit more because I want to show you my eyes. So what I actually did today with my eyes is I've done one side Natasha Denona, I've done one side Colourpop. I'm not going to tell you which side is which yet, I'm going to zoom you in first so you can have a good look and perhaps maybe de decide for yourself and uh, who knows, you might be surprised by the results. So I'm just going to zoom you in and uh, yeah. So you can definitely, I feel like you can tell um, that there is a little bit of difference between the two sides. But um, yeah, look, the application for both was really, really nice. Um, you know, they went on really, really nicely. They blended really well. I don't have any, um, I hope all of that was in view because I my eyes were closed, so hopefully it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I, I really enjoyed uh, the application. Um, of both of these products. I feel like they went on the eye really nicely. They blended well. I feel like there is a decent amount of pigment there. Um, you probably noticed, I don't know if it's just me or if this shows on, showed on camera, but I feel like this side is a little bit more patchier um, with the, the deeper browner color that I use than, than this side, but that's just me. It's, I don't know, that's just how I feel it went on. Um, but the big reveal is that this side is actually ColourPop. And this side is Natasha Denona. So there you have it. I feel like I was able to pull off a fairly similar uh, look. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more sort of uh, videos like this, please be sure to leave me some comments down below. I really, really did have a lot of fun filming this today for you guys. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if I had to pick between the two, Oh, it kills me because look, I love Natasha Denona. I love her products. I love her eyeshadows. I think that the formula themselves, it, it's very, very unique and it is very different to anything else that I've ever experienced on the market. Looking at ColourPop, I think it is an absolutely amazing, amazing formula. Very creamy, very blendable for, you know, such a, a small uh, well, you know, basically for a fraction of the price. Yes, you are getting uh, less product. However, you know, if you're on a budget, do you need, you know, there's two ways you've got to look at this. If you're on a budget, you're on a budget. And second to that, you know, these palettes are massive. Are you going to truly get through 2.5 grams uh, per, per shadow of product? you know, are you going to use it all up? I guess that's, that's the question you have to ask yourself. So personally, if I was on a budget and I wanted this kind of, you know, um, beautiful sunset look, I would a hundred percent pick this, this guy up. It is an absolutely fantastic palette. If I had a little bit more money to, to spend, um, I would definitely, definitely always pick, uh, the Natasha Denona because as I said, the the uniqueness of her shadows are just incredible. The formula is just amazing, and um, the payoff is definitely there. I, I know I have worn these, as I said, I've worn these shadows time and time again, and I know that they will stand the test of time. Um, they will literally last on my eye all night long, all day long. Um, with ColourPop, I'm fairly new to the brand, so I am still testing uh, testing them out. I'm not 100% sure what, what the wear time um, is on these sorts of shadows, but I am um, definitely looking forward to, to working more with them and, and discovering uh, that as time goes on. 
So yeah, as I said, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Um, what you guys think. Do you have Natasha Denona? Do you have Colourpop? What's your opinion on the whole thing? And uh, yeah, I'll be sure to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. See you later. I don't know if that sounded okay. Did that sound okay? I'm actually really impressed with this. I'm really impressed that I did these swatches and that they worked <laughs> and that I'm still in my gym gear and I look lit. I'm really, really impressed with this look. I don't think you can tell the difference between the two. I really don't think you can. I'm really impressed. Enjoy editing this, B. I know you're at the end now. So I hope you enjoyed editing it. Yeah. Love you. <laughs>